All right, so here's the basic setup. Got 11 pots, which are the pot bottles where the plants go into. Here's the main re water reservoir with an extra tank just in case weird things happen. This pipe right here, the overflow pipe, controls how high the water goes. Water doesn't really go much higher than this pipe is set. Here I've got a line splitter so the main reservoir pump will pump up into the hydroponic system or you can flush it out to change. Normally the system is fully automated, but for changing the water and measuring the pH, I made this console here. Here we can switch the manual operation indicated by this light and control the main reservoir pump. You can also switch into pH mode when a manual operation indicated by the check probe light here. When the probe is not connected, the check probe light comes on, where the probe is connected here. After connecting the probe, we should see the indicator light turn off. The probe is currently sitting in tap water, so a reading under 7 by the servo arm here is what we'd expect. In order to take a temperature dependent pH reading, there's a button inside my console that when you press is indicated by the servo arm swimming to 90, then 180 degrees. To demonstrate the pH reading, I'll now place the pH probe in a solution of approximately pH 4. I'm also utilizing a vertical mount float switch which I'll demonstrate in hand. Right now the liquid level low indicator says that the liquid level is adequate. And you can now see that it's low, adequate, low. Now to demonstrate the main reservoir pump, I'll turn it on while in manual operation. When full, you can see the water level only reaches about as high as the overflow pipe.